is Rebecca with Maggie'sCrochet.com. I am going to show you today how to work the pebbly pink and white striped crochet dishcloth. I'm going to show you the pebble stitch. This is the completed dishcloth here. You can find this pattern on BestFreeCrochet.com. It is pattern number four. So to start this, I am using a size H hook and I'm going to start with my slip knot. I'm going to leave a longer tail on the end of my slip knot so that I can weave that in easily after I finish. That's always a good rule of thumb to work by is to leave a long tail. So I'm just going to work a 4 inch swatch for you so I'm going to chain 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And now I'm going to begin and I will start with row one and I'm going to do a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And next I'm going to work a treble crochet. So yarn over twice, insert my hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, pull through two loops, and pull through two loops. And I'm going to continue this pattern throughout the row. A single crochet, and then a treble crochet. The effect of having a single crochet right next to a treble crochet is what causes the little pebble part of this dishcloth to pop out. As I'm doing this, I am only picking up the bottom, the top loop from the chain. There are many different methods of crocheting in the chain, and if you would like to learn more, you can visit maggiescrochet.com and look at some videos there where she describes different methods. If you are looking for more free patterns, you can visit bestfreecrochet.com. There are over 500 free patterns on that website. And then maggiescrochet.com has over a thousand patterns and hundreds of those are free. So those are two great websites to check out. And I will end this row with a single crochet. Now I have completed row one. So what I'm going to do is I'll chain one and turn. And you want to turn it like you're flipping the page of a book. So for row two, I want to single crochet in each stitch across. So don't forget about your first stitch, you want to single crochet in that one too. And in top of your treble. And then in your single. And you want to be sure that you're picking up both loops from the row before. The yarn that I am using is Mary Maxim Ultra mellow spin yarn. You can find this yarn on maggiescrochet.com if you would like to buy some. It's very soft. It 
It is 50% acrylic and 50% nylon. I'm just continuing this row working single crochets all the way across. And then don't forget about your last single crochet on the end. You want to be sure that you work through each stitch so that you do not miss anything and cause it to not have a straight edge. So now we are finished with the blue so we can fasten it off. And now grab our white and start the white with a slip knot. Now to join, we're going to go ahead and turn it over to the wrong side and join the white in this first stitch right here. We'll join it with a slip stitch. So then we'll chain one and single crochet in the first single crochet. So I'm going to single crochet in the same space as I joined. And then I'm going to treble in the next. And then single crochet in the next. And continue this pattern on. The hook that I'm using is a size H hook, and the brand is a Tulip Edema hook. This is a very comfortable hook to use, and if you are looking for a new hook, you can find these on maggiescrochet.com. And that is a great place to look. And so as you can see, we have finished, almost finished this row, where we work a treble crochet and then a single crochet afterwards. And in the last stitch, we are going to work a single crochet. And we will chain one in turn. And for this row, we are going to work 
single crochets all the way across just like we did for the blue. Not forgetting to single crochet in this first one. If you do forget then you will not have a straight line on the end of your project. It will start to work its way inward. So adding the row of single crochets between each of the pebble stitches gives it a separation so that you can see each stitch on its own. If you worked one after another then it might, the whole thing would just look like a bunch of bubbles and it wouldn't have the ridges that it has with the row of single crochets in between. And I hope after watching this video tutorial on how to do the pebble stitch you are more comfortable and you are ready to make your own dishcloth out of it. So I'm going to finish off this white. And so that was the pebble stitch and now you can make your own dishcloth with it.